Thank you so much for checking out this free video. If you don't mind, please click like and subscribe. Well, speaking of horrors, what's Vince up to? Uh, oh, he's, uh, I mean, I, we talked about this months ago. He's uh, looking at starting a company, you know, a non-wrestling company. And uh, I guess Brad Blum, when he left WWE, went with him, which everyone kind of expected. And Christine Prouty, which I didn't know, is did go is with him. And Mike Johnson reported it was an entertainment company, which I kind of knew. Um, and, um, you know, he, he, he wants to start something. Um, I know that the last word I got was that he was feeling that, you know, at the time, I mean, it hasn't started and the reason it hasn't been announced is because at the time, um, the belief was that nobody would do business with him. I mean, he was, you know, starting on it and, and uh, he felt that he needed to clear his name before announcing this. Um, so it hasn't been announced, even though it's been reported and stuff, but, uh, you know, he felt that he needed to clear his name. I don't know how, you know, how he's going to clear his name. I was going to say, I mean, this, this is a long time coming for that name to be cleared. Uh, probably, probably. He may start without, you know, without it. I don't know. You know, will people do business with him? You know, in time. What's he want to do? Make movies and stuff. Make movies and stuff. Make movies, yeah. TV shows. <laughs> wow. Yeah, non-wrestling. Huh. Maybe not, not on a football league. WWE films with no WWE. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to not support that. Yeah. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but I don't, I don't, I don't expect it'll be easy sailings for him right now. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, whatever. But, uh, he, uh, you know, I mean, we've, to, we, you know, it's, you know, it's an, he's in an interesting place because the election's a real big deal for him. Because um, if Trump wins, um, I don't see, I just don't see the Justice Department investigation going anywhere. Um, if he doesn't win, then it's up to what they find. You know, I mean, we'll probably, I mean, like the, the um, they basically asked for uh, time until December. And then in December, the lawsuit will be back on the dockets again. So, um, you know, we'll probably start. Maybe we'll hear more. Maybe we don't. But I know that, uh, you know, Ann Callis and uh, Janelle Grant's PR firm, I mean, they're out there making statements. It feels like every other day now, anti vin statements. So, um, you know, they're, they're certainly not quiet during this period of uh, the suit being on ice. Uh, they they lambasted the idea of anybody wanting to do business with him and what a horrible person he was and of course the um the uh you know the the ring boys lawsuit you know they ch they chimed in on that as as one would expect that they would um they pretty much hammer Vince at, at every opportunity well that ring boy lawsuit's also going to put a damper on his plans to do business ain't going to help that's for sure yeah. um yeah yeah um and that's 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 a tough one. He's going well, he's gonna have to settle that one. I think that the key on that one is is how many more come forward because I mean, when they made the announcement, you know, there were five people who'd come forward that they already had, but I think that they expected that once um, the news of the lawsuit was out, that that more would you know more would follow suit once they got the word that you know some that through the grapevine somehow that that uh, there's a lawsuit involved. So uh, we'll see if more people come forward on that one. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.